Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shora. Today's session, we are going to learn Servlet API. See here, the Servlet API means there is a three important methods available in this Servlet API. The first one is Servlet interface. The second one is abstract methods. The third one is the third one is a HTTP servlet. These are the three important classes. Uh, these are the three important uh, interface and abstract classes available in the servlet API. The servlet API is also called a servlet specifications. A servlet specification contains a set of rules and the guidelines it is related to in the form of a PDF document. Servlet API contains a set of classes and interfaces where classes are guidelines and interfaces are the rules. As a servlet programmer, we develop applications by using the classes and interfaces, but we don't provide the implementation for that interfaces. The implementations for interfaces are provided by the servlet uh, server vendor. A server vendor creates an application is called a product. Now, all the classes and interfaces of the servlet specifications are grouped at a given in the form of a two Java packages. Those are Java X dot servlet package and Java X dot servlet dot HTTP package. Now, here there is a three different class. Uh, there is a three most most and the most different classes are available in the servlet package. The first one is servlet interface the servlet interface the servlet interface needs to be implement The servlet interface need to be implemented for creating any servlets either directly or indirectly. It provides a three lifecycle methods that are used to initialize the servlet to servlet request. Now it destroys the uh, uh, and to destroy the servlet in a two non lifecycle methods. Two non lifecycle methods. These are the different methods are available in the servlet lifecycle. Uh, lifecycle. The first one is init method. The init method is used to it is initialized in initialize the servlet. It is a lifecycle method of the servlet and it invokes by the web container. Next. Public, uh, this one more, second service is the service method. This service method is used to the service method. It provides a response for incoming request and invokes the at the request of the web container. The third one is public void destroy method. It is the invoked by the once and it indicates the servlet is to be destroyed. The fourth one is servlet config get servlet config method it returns it returns the object of the servlet config and the final one is public string get servlet info it returns the information about the servlets such as a writer copyrights version and etc the next class is generic servlet abstract class the generic servlet abstract class implements servlet servlet config and serializable interfaces it provides an implementation of all the methods of these interfaces except the service method you may create a generic servlet by inheriting the generic ser servlet class and we need to provide the implementation of the service method see here in this example i am creating a one class that is the first class i am extending from the generic servlet class in this generic servlet class i am overriding the method called service method next the one more class is called http servlet class abstract class 
the http servlet class extends the generic servlet class and implements the serializable interface it provides an http specific methods such as a do get do post do head and do trace methods etc now if you want to implement the uh, if you want to extend the http servlet class in our class we need to no need to create uh, no need to uh, we need to give the implementations for do get no need to give the implementations for do get and do post methods whatever methods you want to need to implement for that methods these are the three important methods are available in the servlet class uh, servlet api those are servlet interface and servlet uh, generic servlet abstract class and http servlet abstract class In this year, we can extending the from the generic servlet or HTTP servlet is nothing but indirectly we are implementing the servlet interface only. For the interview point of view, a servlet can be created in only one way and that is either by directly or indirectly implementing from the servlet interface. Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.